Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, I'm Medusa MUA. Hey, what's up? How you doing? I am a mom of two. I love makeup. I try lots of crazy new things. I love trying new products. I get Ipsy bags and other subscriptions every month and I open those on here. So if that sounds like something you're into, remember to like and subscribe down below. I upload videos every Monday, soon to be every Monday and Friday, maybe? We'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, this week's video is going to be about... One second, let me grab it. It's over here. I'm spilling everything. Okay, I'm back. So this week's video is going to be about this guy here. I got it in my Ipsy bag in February, and it is the BioBell Facial Mask Skin Primer. So supposedly you're supposed to be able to put this on before you do your makeup and not have to use any moisturizer or primer or anything. It has tea tree oil, rosehip extract, vitamin C. It's supposed to enhance radiance, minimize pores, and even skin tone. And it's supposed to prep the skin for flawless makeup application. We'll see about that. That sounds like something you're interested in. I'll see you in a second. Man, it's really warm in my room today. I do not know what is going on, but it's like, I am sweaty. Anyways, I look a little crazy because we're doing this primer mask or whatever, so I don't have any makeup on or anything. I'm about to get ready for work. I've been hanging out at the house all day, cleaning, meal prepping, all kinds of stuff, hanging out with kids. So my hair is not done, no makeup, I'm just in a t-shirt. And that is the life I live. So we're going to throw this hair up so we can get this mask on. My face is clean. I cleaned it this morning. Um, I always go through with a makeup remover wipe in the morning. Even though I take my makeup off at night, I always do a wipe in the morning just because any oil or whatever from when I'm sleeping. And I usually, if I need to, will use an exfoliator or um, any kind of facial cleanser at that point. And then I use like a toner. So that's all that's on my face. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we are going to break into this. Now I have never seen anything about this. I kind of looked up into it like it's prepping for this video, basically. I'm sorry, this is so loud. Anyways, I looked into it prepping for this video and it came out uh, about a year ago. Okay, so what are we supposed to do? Start with clean dry skin. Got that. Check. Remove the sheet mask mask from package. Either side may be gently applied to the face, smooth with fingers, so it may adapt frequently. Leave for the mask on for five to ten minutes. Peel off mask, rinse, and proceed to apply your makeup. Okay, so it's a sheet mask, same as anything. Take it out, put it on, leave it. All right, um, so the benefits of the mask, you know what, let me put it on and then I'll read you the benefits, okay? One sec. It's like really juicy and like Oh, how cute. Like, look at it. It's got, like, little designs on it. That's cute. I like that. But this is, like, dripping everywhere. Oh, my God. Ah, making a mess. Just like my life. Okay. So, this is the worst part of sheet masks for me. I hate, hate, hate unfolding them. I'm always terrified I'm going to rip them. And does that happen to you guys? Because, like, I am just... This is so cute with its little designs. Look at this. Anyway, so I'm always afraid I'm going to rip them. Does that happen to you guys? No? Well, maybe I'm, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just rough. I don't know. Okay, so I've got it all unfolded. Now let's put this on. Oh! You look so cute! <laughs> Okay, so right off the bat, I really, really like the size of it. I have, like, I don't know. I always have a problem with sheet masks where it's, like, so big, and then it's, like, on my hair and my ears and, like, all the way down my neck. And, like, that's not a problem with this one, which is really, really nice. And But if you have a bigger face, that might be a problem for you. I just I have a smaller face. So, yeah, and it is really drippy. It doesn't, it just kind of smells really clean. It doesn't really doesn't really have too much of a scent, which I thought it might with, like, the rose hip and the vitamin C and the tea tree. Like, it has all that stuff in it, and all those are, like, super strong smelling, but it doesn't really smell, like, too, too much. Okay, so the benefits of this mask say 
with tea tree oil minimizes pores and also helps to regulate oil production which can decrease the severity and incidence of breakouts oh. rosehip extract is a great all-over treatment it is skin loving natural wait the <laughs> rosehip extract is a great all-over treatment its skin loving natural actives are highly effective at treating uneven skin tone vitamin C will wake up your makeup <laughs> wake up your makeup <laughs> it brightens the skin and improves radiance so all those things sound really really good except for like the oil production thing I am super super dry so I hope that this doesn't dry me out but then the last thing says that it improves radiance which is like the opposite effect so uh, so that's interesting we'll just see what it does so I am going to leave this on for about five minutes and I will be back and you will see me take it off it is 3.13 in the afternoon so I will be back at about 3:20 ish a little bit before that and we will check it out so it is a little bit past it's 321 um, I'm gonna take it off but I just want to say that it is like cooling and like tingling kind of so that's really really cool so let's take it off oh. okay and then we're supposed to just pat the excess in so I'm gonna do that Okay, so my I have it all padded and rubbed in, and it's kind of sticky to the touch like a primer would be, which is really, really cool. So I'm excited to see how my makeup applies. So I'm going to do that really fast, and I'm just going to be doing a really, really light makeup because I have to leave for work, and like now, basically, I'm really good at keeping my life on schedule. Okay, so I just set my face, and I used this... Um, this isn't really relevant to the video at all. I just really, really like it. Um, this is the Mario Badescu uh, Rose Water Spray. It is freaking amazing. It smells so, so good. Like, it, I don't know. It just reminds me of, like, something I used to have as, like, a little kid. Like, it smells like fresh baby doll. I don't know. It's amazing. It's amazing. But I love it so far. And I think that my makeup applied really, really pretty on top of this. I'll get you in nice and close so you can kind of see. So my pores are definitely blurred. They're not completely gone, which I kind of was, you know, I usually like to use a, a pore reducing primer so that it kind of makes them obsolete. But for just having a mask, I do feel like my face feels like hydrated and plump and ready to go for the day. So I am going to get to work now because I am way late and I will check back in later. Okay, so it is about 9 o'clock. The kids are sleeping, so I'm trying to be a little bit quiet. Um, yeah, it's about 9 o'clock. I've had the makeup on almost six hours now, and I mean, it wore okay. Um, it's nothing, nothing amazing, though. Um, I'm glad they gave me the two-pack so I can try it again with, like, more of a full face of makeup. Maybe I'll be able to tell better then, like how it's really wearing but to me it's not anything that like blew my socks off or whatever oh whatever <laughs> I say that all the time I watch this uh, Brett Memrock you people probably know about him he's pretty famous now but anyways I watch him and he's always oh whatever so now that's just part of my life anyway back to what we were talking about so yeah the primer mask I think that it made my makeup lay really really nice at first like for the application which was really cool it made my skin feel really really hydrated which was nice but I can't say it made my makeup last any longer or anything like that but I guess it doesn't claim that it's supposed to do that it's supposed to make it for a flawless application so which it did it did deliver on that so I have the other mask I'm gonna try it again and see how it goes from there um, it made my skin look really really dewy a good friend of mine told me Janae hey girlfriend how you doing Anyway, she told me that I looked really, really dewy and fresh and nice today, which was, that's always my goal. I'm always trying to look dewy. I am not about that matte life. Well, some days, who knows? But mostly I'm about the dewy life. So yeah, it makes me look, makes you look pretty dewy and radiant, which is nice. Um, it made the makeup apply really, really nice, but I don't think it made the makeup last any longer. I don't think it's anything that is like too crazy. Um, I think it's like four or five dollars. 
I'll link that somewhere, or not link it, but I'll put it somewhere around here and also down in the description box so that you guys know how much it is and I will put link down below where you can get it and all that stuff. Um, I think for the price it's pretty nice, but I don't think it's anything spectacular. <sighs> I feel like really sweaty before these videos. <laughs> T-shirt life is a life of my hair. It's living its own life today. Nope, I don't like that at all. That's yucky. I'm so sweaty. Ooh, it's juicy. I can't get over these. These are so cute. Watching some Grey's Anatomy. It's just a wait, while I wait, do you guys love Grey's Anatomy still? Because like I know it's on like season 100 million or something like that, and a bunch of people have died or whatever. But I still seriously cannot get enough. I'm obsessed with it. <laughs> 